Welcome back to the June 2023 YAR Summer Series. In case you haven't watched our first video yet, we are Amelia and Annalise Williams. Because the state and federal government operate in different places and make laws about different things, advocacy looks different at each level. With all these issues at play, you may be wondering about where you can start. Let's talk about that. At both the state and federal level, the most important place to focus your efforts is in building a relationship with the people in charge. That way, when they go to vote on issues relevant to the rare disease community, they remember you, your story, and the importance of the policies you advocate for. Relationships can look a little different at the state and federal levels. At the federal level, it's more difficult to get time with your actual representative. So you may be talking to and forming a relationship with a staffer who focuses on issues related to health for your representative. Don't worry, this is how your voice is heard in the federal process. At the state level, you often have more of an opportunity to speak directly with your representative. Once you establish that relationship with your legislator, you can reach out to them with important issues that you want them to notice and help inform their vote. But if you don't want to start with speaking directly to your legislator or their staffers, there are other ways to get involved. We don't have time to get into all of them, but some ideas are to write and or sign a petition, write a letter to your legislator, gather other advocates and interested members of the rare disease community called stakeholders to form a coalition to make your voices stronger together, or even testify in front of a committee on an important bill to help get it passed. State advocacy is also a great place to take advantage of personal connections, whether that may be with people you went to high school with, students at your college, coworkers, family, friends, or neighbors. As you build momentum at the state level, working alongside other advocates to host a state advocacy day can be a powerful way to elevate the voices of the rare disease community within your state. Some states will already have coalitions and organizations formed for rare disease advocacy of different forms, like a Rare Disease Advisory Council, which you can look to join and can be great resources for getting involved. But how do you know what rare disease legislation is relevant to your state? One great place to start is your state representative's website or social media. These sites will often include information about what issues your representative cares about. States will also each have a bill tracker where you can learn about current legislation that you may be able to testify for. You can also look into rare disease patient organizations within your state. While you may not be able to find one for your rare disease specifically, these organizations are great connections for learning about rare disease policy at the state level. As we wrap up today's video, remember, you can find other tips at the Every Life State Advocacy Hub. That's all for today. Stay tuned for a more specific example of how we got involved in state advocacy and how you can too.